don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Get ready to take a trip down every lane. That table can only mean one thing. We're gonna be playing a Sega Saturn. On today's episode of Memory Lane, we're checking out some uh, Sonic R, and uh, Sonic R is pretty cool. But what happens when you combine it with the Action Replay? I mean, what kind of crazy shenanigans can we do with the Action Replay? I usually use this to play imports, and this is an import. But is there any cheat codes or hacks available? Let's uh, find out. But first, let's look at the, uh, the label art. We got Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails running for their lives. Race for the goal with Sonic and his pals. You got some uh, screenshots back here, and this game is pretty cool. And uh, it gets the bad rep of being bad, but I actually think it's fun. You got the uh, color manual right here. But let's head over to the Sega Saturn and let's uh, check out to see what we can do with this. Get it all set up and pop it into place. All right, so I have our Sega Saturn right there, and we're going to be using. Our 3D controller, because this game works better with the 3D controller than the uh, regular six button pad. We have to put this into the console right here. And then we have to take this out of its case, of course. And we got the disc right there, we're gonna pop it in. And let's head over to the CRT and let's try out. Um, Sonic R, and of course I have this controller plugged in, but we'll plug the other one in in one second. So stay tuned and let's play some Sonic R. Alright, here we are playing Sega Saturn, playing uh, Sonic R, and we're going to be, uh, seeing exactly what we can do with the uh, action replay. Gonna pick our appropriate language. And let's see what we have here. Got the boot up for the Sega Saturn, yeah. Love seeing that. Awesome uh, Sega Saturn introduction right there. Got the action replay, which is what we're gonna be using. Very similar to uh, the game genie. Right, let's see what we got here. Sonic R. So this is a code that I found, or a few codes that I actually found online. It's, it's kind of hard finding uh, action replay codes for the Saturn, but this one I actually came across. See if they actually work. Hopefully they do. Always place first. Always have five Sonic coins and 999 rings. So we'll do that. And let's see here. So it looks like we have three cheat codes that are on. Let's see if we can start the game. And uh, we'll see how this works. We got the uh, Sega logo that just popped up there. We're using a uh, North American Sega Saturn. It reads discs a little bit better than my Japanese one, surprisingly. Usually the uh, the American consoles wear out faster. And we got the awesome uh, Sonic R uh, title screen right there. All right, so it looks like we have ourselves. Let's see here. Let's save uh, some save data right here. Let's see if we can save. And we are using the 3D uh, Saturn controller, by the way. This is a lot easier to play than the standard controller. You know, the character models on these uh, characters like Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, 
Now, I don't quite remember what that character's name is. You can write that down below, but the uh, character models look really, really good on the Saturn. I mean, look at that, that's a pretty cool looking uh, Sonic. So let's test these codes out, let's see if they actually work. So, according to what it says, no matter what place I get, I'm supposed to come in first place. Let's check that out. No, the graphics on this game are cool. It's been a while since I played this game. Oh my god. The best bet is to jump across, like right here. Some people say that this game sucks with the controls, but I always had fun playing it. The controls are a little tough. Takes a little getting used to. See right there, just hop across. Forget about the rings and all that crap. And there we go. Make it look easy. I've been playing this game for a long time. Hop across. And make sure you use your shoulder buttons when you turn. And I got a little caught up on that pole for a second. And here we got a Prepare the challenge. We got a uh, hidden character right here. Now, there's something that is not easily done Ready, set, go. without using the action replay, so you have to beat this character. Shouldn't be that much of a big deal. Where the hell am I going? Alright, we need to get back to where we were before. Am I going like backwards or what? I think I am. It's the same, same exact track and everything, but I'm just a little lost. <laughs> Uh, let's see if we can get in first place. Alright, we'll go this way instead, I guess. And it still says that we're in first place, so that's a good sign. Although he's right there, he's ahead of us. So have a cross. He's right there. Alright, so we're still ahead. Although this water gets in my way. What you want to do is make sure you don't fall into the water because the water slows you down. Although, this action replay actually might be working. Oh, wow. So I guess uh, on these bonus stages, you have to beat... You definitely have to beat these uh, characters in order to get those unlockables. I kind of want to play this again. Let's let's try it again.
I haven't played this in probably months. So it's getting a little bit of warm up here. We've got all the flickies flying around. Look at that. Ready, set, go! This is definitely one of my favorite Saturn games. Oh my god, what the hell? So I'm using the 3D controller, maybe I should switch to uh, standard and see how that works. See if it works out better for me. I think that the controls are working okay. Okay, we got this right here. Oh my god, get on the... Sometimes it's very, very difficult to deal with um, Sonic. Not listen to what I'm trying to tell him. Hey, let's go in here. That was another thing. I think I have enough powers to actually go through like those little hidden areas. And here we have our challenging little character over here. We have to beat the sky. Really weird looking Sonic character. It looks like a dark Sonic. I'm not a huge Sonic fanatic. I love Sonic the Hedgehog. I can't tell you exactly what every character is. And that may... Alright, let's see if we can... Oh no! Let's see if we can make it over here. We're going to go through this little... It's like an emerald looking thing right there. Move it! And you can double jump here so that helps you out. You definitely have to get into first place though. And he's ahead of us right now. Oh my god, we're not gonna win. Maybe. He's right there. Oh my god, where the hell am I going? Am I going in the right direction? I hope I am. Yeah, I barely made it. Holy crap. That was so close. So it does appear that the uh, the action replay, Game Genie, Game Shark, whatever you want to call it, it definitely is working. Now it looks like we have uh, our first unlockable character right here. It's a bizarre looking Sonic the Hedgehog creature. And uh, this is definitely one of my uh, favorite uh, tracks right here. Probably my favorite on the whole game. The first track was okay, but this is my favorite. It's like a casino pinball level, whatever the hell you want to call it, but see, I love that metallic sonic loading screen right there. That is cool. Shows the powers on the Sega Saturn. Ready, set, go. I will kill this track right here easily. It's definitely one of my favorite tracks. It's pretty much a guarantee that I'm going to come in first. Okay, let's see, and I love the soundtrack on this game too. The soundtrack's really good. Oh 
my god, where the hell am I going to go? I forgot about this crappy portion of the game where you get stuck in the pinball level. We have to climb all the way up here. Your best bet is not to go in there. This is actually the first Sega Saturn game I've ever seen, by the way. I went to a Funko Land when I was younger and I saw this on display and they had a kiosk where you can actually play it. And uh, this game blew my mind. I thought the game was so cool. Let's see if we can make it to the end. Yeah, look at that. So far, we're doing pretty good. The action is so fast that it's hard to keep up. You have to play the tracks multiple times to master them. You want to make sure you jump over the water because the water will slow you down. All right, let's see if we can make it to the end here. Got a little shortcut. Got this slow guy on the car right here. And uh, we definitely came in first place. Now we have a uh, prepare to challenge, and they have this really <laughs> grotesque looking tails looking creature. It's like a teddy bear or something. See if we can make it to the end. This guy stands no chance. This is like the hedgehog is running really fast. Look at that. Oh, I missed it. Oh, well, we'll just go this way. No big deal. Can make it all the way to the other end of the track. And this is definitely one of my favorite tracks. It's much more logical and easier to play on this track. And it's fun. I like the, the colors on it, and I definitely reminds me of like a Sonic the Hedgehog level. That would be on the Genesis, but in 3D. And it looks really cool. at the end here. I think we have one more lap. And yeah, we're almost at the finish line. And there we go. So it looks like we unlocked two characters. And uh, the action replay definitely works with the 999 rings. You can actually see that while playing the game. It actually does work. And I have no idea what this character is. This really weird looking character. Now, here's another uh, track right here that's it's not bad, it's definitely... I love the graphics on the first track, the best probably, but the second track is probably my favorite, the third track's okay.
Uh, right away, I, I kind of forgot where the hell I'm going here. So hopefully I'm headed in the right direction, because I don't know for sure. So, where the hell are we going? Got a double jump and go down here, I guess. So, it looks like currently I'm not in first place, but. I'm guessing that we have to go this way. And of course, I can go this way. fell into the water, that's not good. I have to find my way out of here. And now this track is definitely one of the more confusing tracks in the game. And it's easy to get lost in this game, as you can see here. And it's not too friendly with Sonic the Hedgehog. And uh, let's see if we can make it to the top here. Alright, what the hell? So it looks like we made it to the end. And that looks like Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> so we have to probably beat him somehow. Which may not happen, because this track is like over the place. I'm a little rusty on this track, to be quite honest. See that he's trying to kill me. He's being a real scumbag. You know, if you go this way, you can probably make it to where you have to go. Come on, make it, make it. Your best bet is to take your time on this track, because it's very, very hard to actually go around this track at fast pace. If you're driving one at a fast pace on this track, it may not actually do you any good. if I'm in first place or not, but I think I am, according to what it says there, but sometimes with the game shark or the game genie on it, it doesn't quite accurately tell you if you're in first place. I have a feeling that I might be. Come on, get up there. Oh my god. Hopefully we can make it to the end without having any issues here. Alright, we, uh, looks like we did beat, well, it looks like Dr. Robot. I think that's Dr. Robotnik, Dr. Eggman, or whatever the hell you want to call him. Uh, maybe that's not. I don't know what the hell that thing is. It almost looks like him. So this is a reactive factory. Let's check this out. I 
Now this game is definitely, if you know how to play it okay, you can beat it without the uh, action replay, but it does make it easier to play using the action replay. Now this is one track that I never really played too much of before, so this is going to be uh, an experience for me that I can't really speak of. It's one track that I don't have too much hands on experience with here. So I'm playing this blind for the most part. Gonna have to pretty much go wherever you can go and hopefully make it to the end. It looks like Knuckles is ahead of me. And I tell you, they have a pretty cool soundtrack. It's like a 90s uh, freestyle sounding type. Oh my god. It's not where we want to go, but close enough. And we need to go over here. Okay, right, so we got one more lap to go, and hopefully, we make it to the end. This game is actually really fun. I know a lot of people say it's really bad, but it's so bad it's good. It's actually really fun. If you're not familiar with the tracks, you will make mistakes like what I just did there. You'll end up turning in, in a weird directions, so you have to be really familiar with these tracks. Oh god, looks like Knuckles. Or it's some sort of weird looking knuckles. And I may not win this track, so let's hopefully I do. Ready, set, go. Alright, let's see if we can beat this crazy looking knuckles. It's like a demonic knuckles. So we can't make any mistakes this time around, because if we do... Oh my god, the computer guy will definitely capitalize. And I think so far we're doing okay. We need to keep it that way. Almost fell into the water, and that's definitely uh, not where you want to go. And this appears to be the quicker way to go here. Okay, so far we're doing pretty good. So I think I'm pretty confident that I'm going to beat the beat uh, this the monocle can uh, knuckles. So definitely, I think it is knuckles, but. He'll see us like darker eyes. You know, someone that might be a Sonic expertise might want to fill me in on which Knuckles this is. Oh yeah. That was uh, pretty good. I beat the the demonic looking knuckles, and now he appears to be unlocked. 
whatever the hell this thing is. I mean, this is Knuckles. But this is like a demon looking Knuckles over here. It's a, it's a bad Knuckles. Look at that thing. Alright, so we're back. Just gotta see if we can... Get back into the game right here. Had to start the recording over a little bit. I'm gonna stick with uh, Sonic. Now, how the hell do we uh, unlock the last track right there? What, what exactly do we do? Like, what's the trick on that? Time attack? I guess we'll just try this out, see exactly uh, what we do here. I never really play Time Attack too much, but I guess we'll try it out. I figured uh, if you came in first place on all four of those tracks, the fifth one would unlock. Wow, what the hell is that? <laughs> It says that I have a course record. I beat the cor the track in zero seconds. Okay. It's the uh, the action replay doing some funny things right there. So I guess we'll uh, try the second track. Let's see what happens here. Got the loading screen. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite loading screens out of any game right there. That's pretty cool. And uh, once again, Sonic the Hedgehog beat that track in zero seconds. That's how fast Sonic the Hedgehog is. It's uh, definitely a world record right there. Alright, let's, uh, assumingly that we might have to play all 40 to unlock that last track, so let's, let's see if we can make this work. And yeah, we're almost at the last, uh, track right there. I, I don't know exactly how to unlock that track. So let's see if this actually does the trick. And uh, once again, Sonic, zero seconds. Some really crazy Game Genie stuff going on here. Of course, it's not a Game Genie, but it's an action replay, but I still call it a Game Genie. We got these spinning from looking Sonic the Hedgehog head. That is cool. Look at that. And here we are with this. It's going to tell us in a second that we beat the game in record time. Zero seconds. Alright, so how the hell do you unlock that last track? There's also a, uh, this right here. I don't know what the hell this is. Definitely try it out, see what I think you have to like collect five balloons or something like that. Let's see if that'll actually allow us to play it. I 
Okay, maybe not. So the action replay pretty much prevents us from, uh, from playing the balloon levels. To give you an example, if we go into this level right here, it's going to say that Sonic the Hedgehog completed the level in zero seconds. It's the action replay doing some funny things right there. Now, just to give you guys a heads up, I also have um, a Game Shark for the N64, which we're going to be doing some pretty uh, interesting things with that. So will this unlock anything if we actually keep doing this? Or do you have to like play each stage with uh, each character unlock that, that level or something? What the hell? I'm trying to figure this out. And eventually it's going to come up with that screen right there. Alright, so, uh, I guess there's one more stage to try out on there and see if it actually does anything. Now, hopefully this unlocks the last stage so we can actually play it. It's still locked up, so I'm gonna have to probably look up to see exactly how you unlock that stage. I don't know for sure, but I will definitely check it out here. This is Sonic R. So we'll uh, check this out real quick just to see if we have an idea of how to unlock that stage. Finish in first place in the gradient element course. So how do you unlock the Radiant Helmet course? To access the Radiant Helmet course, finish first place in each of the first four courses. Which I think I already did that. So technically, that last course should be unlocked. But apparently the game doesn't want to give it to me because I'm probably using the action replay. So we'll just keep it at that for now. Apparently you're supposed to be able to unlock it by coming in first place. You can see the Radiant Emerald Course. This is to access the Radiant Emerald Course, uh, finish first place in each of the first four courses. And uh, I've already done that. So, more than likely, it's some sort of conflict between the action replay and the uh, the actual game itself. So what we'll do is we'll keep it at that for now. You can see that Sonic is definitely really good. He comes in at zero seconds. 
And that is Sonic R using the action replay on the Saturn. You don't really get to see too many uh, Game Shark or action replay games on the Saturn, so this is definitely a nice treat. Uh, very, very interesting. So, if you want to see more Sega Saturn action replay games, uh, stay tuned and we'll see exactly uh, what we can do with the action replay on the Sega Saturn. It's quite interesting. Give a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you think.